fourth graders, we're going to get ready to read our main text, which is because of Winn-Dixie, but you'll need your Journeys textbook and also a spiral notebook, okay? So in your Journeys notebook, I want you to draw the diagram that you see in front of you because we're going to be keeping track of characters, setting, and plot. So our story structure is what we're going to be focusing on today, and our target strategy is working on summarizing. So when we look at story structure, we look at the important parts of what we're reading, and that includes characters, which are the people or characters in the book. Sometimes they could be animals or different things like that. And then the setting, so where the story takes place, and the plot, which are the main events. So the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Uh, they help us keep track of what's happening, and they help us keep track of what's going on in the book. So as we hear about new characters or the plot changes, I'd like for you to fill this out in your notebook. Um, summarizing is the target strategy, and when you summarize a story, you tell who the main characters are and briefly retell the main events. Summarizing helps you understand and remember the story. And the topic of the story that we're going to be reading is helping others. And on the page in front of you on page 19, um, sorry, if you haven't already opened up your book, please open it up to page 18 and 19. That's where you'll see this diagram and also the things I'm talking about. Um, so the topic of the story is helping others and doing favors, Helping with chores and volunteering for community projects are all ways that we help others. And because of when Dixie is all about helping a newcomer feel at home. So right now I want you to think, what is a time when you helped somebody else? It could be something easy or simple. It could be um, looking out for somebody, becoming somebody's friend. What's a way that you have helped somebody? Um, that will help you connect to the characters in the story a little bit better. All right, so now go ahead and turn to page 20, and you can see that this is our first lesson, and this is our anchor text. This is the one that we're going to be focusing on. So we started Because of When dixie last week, and we talked about um, the book a little bit. The author is Kate DiCamillo, and she is a very famous author, and I'm sure that you're familiar with some of her other books, like The Tale of Despero. You can see on the left side that our target skill, like we talked about, is story structure. And the genre, that means the type of book that we're reading today, is called realistic fiction. Realistic fiction means that it's real, like it could happen in real life, and fiction means that it's a made-up story. So you can see in the details below, it says when you have a realistic fiction story, the setting could be a real place. The plot has a beginning, middle, and end. The characters who have, have feelings that real people have. And so this section has a setting that could be a real place. It has characters who have feelings that are real and that real people have. So that's how we know that this is a realistic fiction book. The essential question that we're going to be focusing on while we read is how do friends help each other? So right now, right below where you have um, drawn your diagram, I want you to write that question. So I'll write it for you. I want you to write, how do friends help each other? And we'll answer that question as we go as well. 